The popularity of converting Volkswagen commercial vehicles into great looking camper vans means there are literally hundreds of converters to choose from. But when you approach one with your van, you've got to make some fundamental decisions about the layout of your vehicle. This video is a big converter's advice on making those choices. People often have the choice of short wheelbase or long wheelbase with Volkswagen vehicles for conversion. What impact does that choice have? Which, which one of those you choose? A lot of people, if they're going to use a vehicle day to day, will go for a short wheelbase because it's easier for getting into car parks and things like that. Um, and people who are using them for mostly weekend use or holidays may go for a longer wheelbase unless they have another requirement from a long wheelbase vehicle such as extra space on the inside and that's a must-have for them. Presumably with a long wheelbase you get more space but it doesn't make any particular difference to what can be achieved with the conversion. No that's right so you can have um, a big triple rib seat bed in, the, in a long wheelbase and you can have it in a short wheelbase. However, if you do have a, that size of bed in the short wheelbase, you do then lose out on having a grill and having one of the burners. So if it goes from a two burner to a one burner. People obviously will talk about the difference in the length is only 40 centimetres. So often people think that a short wheelbase um, isn't that much different to a long wheelbase and 40 centimetres doesn't sound doesn't like much, sound much does it? until you try and put it in a car parking spot and then obviously if it sticks out that could be a crucial feature for you. People can also choose, often when they're buying a donor vehicle, between a, a normal roof that's going to have a pop top added to it or they can also get one that's already got like a high roof. Again, what sort of impact does that have on, on the conversion and what you can have? Um, from the conversion, obviously, if you've got a bit more space to work with, you've got facilities that maybe have a toilet block in there, so an actual toilet that's and maybe the, even a shower with a high roof. With a high roof. Um, but then the downside to that is that you might not then fit into um, car parks with height restrictions. So again, it becomes, you know, how much flexibility do you want with each vehicle? So each have their merits and benefits. This seems to be boiling down to decisions about your lifestyle and how you want to use them, doesn't it? Exactly that, yes. Yeah, it is. Great. Yeah. Obviously the front seating is an issue because depending on what donor vehicle you have, that can be different, can't it? Yeah, you can always have it changed. So just because it comes with a double front seat, as most um, vans do, doesn't mean to say you can't change it for a single passenger seat. Uh, both can be swivelling. Um, the advantage of a single passenger seat is that you can get through to the back as a driver um, without having to get out and go round the vehicle, um, whereas with a double seat it's more difficult to do, you have to really get out. However, the double seat has storage underneath it and obviously is wider so it becomes more of a lounge area which can be very practical as well. Many converters out there, um, although the sky can be the limit with what you choose, a, lo a lot of them offer a couple of options or a couple of main options in terms of the layout of the vehicle. Why does that happen? I think it's a tried and tested method so they've worked out over the years what does work. Um, so there's various things that people require and ask for time and time again and rather than sort of saying well you could have this they tend to say well this is a, a layout that has those features. And they know it works. Yeah, definitely, yeah. But of course on top of that then you do get the choice of all the colours and the finishes and the surfaces and all of that kind of thing. It really is never ending so you, you know you've got cho choices from the exterior graphics and detailing so whether you have sidebars and spoilers and different coloured handles to the interior, whether you have a black worktop, white worktop, um, coloured edging to the worktops, you, the choice is endless. So yeah, it's, it's always nice to have choice. And what kind of bizarre requests have you had over the years? So we've had various different things, but we had one uh, camper van that had yellow detailing on the outside, yellow detailing on the handles, um, yellow detailing on the cupboard edging, and black gloss cupboard edging, and that was because they were a beekeeper. These are very modern, smart vans. You can, you can have a quite retro look these days. The retro look is a popular look, um, and we do the two-tone detailing on the outside, so basically it's half the, the bottom half of the camper is in one colour, and the top half is in another. So we've got one that's in sage green at the bottom with the white at the top, and that seems to be very popular. But likewise, we've had more sporty versions with blue at the bottom, silver at the top, and equally that, that works for some customers too. I know the whole point of campers is that everybody does something different with them, but if, if someone is coming to a converter with a van and an idea, what are, in your opinion, the key things they need to get in their mind first? 
Um, certainly they need to think about having a pop-top roof. We sometimes get people that say, you know, I don't need a pop-top roof. Um, but I think that's what sort of identifies it as a camper, but plus it gives you a lot of room. Um, so I think that's, a, that's definitely something they should consider. Um, the seating options, um, like you said, with the front seats, whether they have two seats or just three across the front. Um, the bench seat across the back, where, what type of seat that is. Um, we do three types of seat. There's a, a rock and roll bed, um, which basically goes from sort of vertical to flat. And then we do the rib bed that folds out and a Remo bed that's on rails and slides forwards. And that just gives various different options. So if you wanted more space for a van, for example, you can have the Remo bed. It can be right the way forward during the day and you're using it as a van at the back. It's a load of space. But then when you want it as a camper van, you shift it back and it makes your seat in your lounge area. I guess it's worth asking your converter to suggest something when you tell them what you're wanting to use the van for. Yeah, I think that's right because, you know, various different people, they might be into activities so like mountain biking. So they may want, they might have really expensive mountain bikes, they want them inside. They might have, um, you know, other requirements. Maybe they've got a, you know, a, a disabled scooter that they want to accommodate on the inside. Um, obviously you've got the sliding door at the side so you can put things in the centre but a lot of people want the storage at the back rather than in the middle. And are there things that um, in your experience customers really shouldn't worry about but they do? Well I think that a lot of the time people start at the sort of wrong end so they'll choose something based on the look um, without thinking about how it would work practically for them. Um, so they might say, oh, you know, this is lovely because it's got alloy wheels and it's got coloured handles in the colour we wanted and things like that. That's great, um, but then it might not have things like air conditioning and reversing sensors, which although the reversing sensors could be added, it's things to think about when you're buying and looking uh, for a van. So it does boil down to how you're planning to use the vehicle? Definitely. We're making many more videos on everything to do with all types of VW camper vans, from classic splitties and bay windows to the latest T60s. So please subscribe, click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to know when every new video comes off the assembly line. Thanks for watching.